What's good, YouTube? Y'all already know it's Steph, man. Um, about to hit this back workout. I'm going to take y'all with me throughout my day. Um, showing you guys what I'm eating shit because I know y'all be wondering, man, what this nigga be eating and shit? So, yeah, man, I got my black coffee as always. You know, black coffee every morning, black coffee. And I got my uh, Herbalife pre-workout right here. This is a pump product. If y'all want to support your boy, click the link in the description. Buy 30 of them hoes. But if you want the, the pump, the pump is fucking real when you take this shit. So if you want a pump, um, you need to get on this. Two scoops has um, 4,000 milligrams of L-arginine and l citrus No, 5,000. My bad. Um, that's hella blood flow to the muscle. You know, the more, the more blood flow, uh, the more pump you'll have. So um, with that being said, I hope you guys um, enjoy this training video. I'm going to give y'all guys a lot of tips. I uh, normally... Um, don't like training at this gym, but we're going to train here today. You know, I really, you know, I like the hardcore gym, so let's do it. What up, guys? We started with some lat pull downs, man. As y'all can see, I'm doing some uh, static holds, like three second holds at the bottom of the movement. Um, this is by far the best lat pull down machine I've ever used in this gym. I don't really like training back in this gym, but you know, I just wanted to train back in this gym today. But um, this is a real good movement, y'all, for the lats and the mid upper back as well. But um, notice how um, I'm doing static holds. Static holds, to me, it brings out more detail in the back. Um, that's why I, I like doing holds. I like doing holds when I'm doing a bunch of movements. You know, even like, the uh, hand grip I'm doing right here, when you guys, listen, when you do under hand grip like that, supinated, it's hitting your lower lats. Dude, bitch ass walked in my camera, but fuck dude though. But that's hitting, that's working your lower lats. Then I switch to the side grip. That's hitting more of the rhomboids and the middle back as well. I did all three grips. I did this little tricep for about three to four sets. So I did five under grip, five to the side, and five neutral grip right here, as you guys can see. So make sure you're hitting all angles of your back, man. This movement right here, I like to, you see how I'm leaning forward? It's kind of like I'm doing a, a behind the neck lat pull down. You know what I'm saying? This, this is what I, I, this is one of my favorite movements as well for my lats. You know, um, notice how I'm leaning forward more because I'm, I'm trying to uh, focus the emphasis of the uh, machine um, pulling behind my, behind me. Does that make sense? And right here is a high row. Um, a high row is good for you know rhomboids and upper back as well and your lats. Because like, I, like I'm gonna explain in the video later, your arm is in that straight line. It's in a straight line and it's pulling. When your arm's in a straight line like that, you get more lat activation. Now, um, they didn't get the weight in the video, I don't know why. But um, the first set was uh, kinda, kinda heavy, but this set right here was, um, fucking brutal and i did static holds on this set as well but in this set was was very brutal but you got to keep in mind guys you got to keep the intensity high you know if the intensity is not high while you're training um it's not gonna be a good workout you know you, we have our shitty days and things when we're working out but intensity is everything if the tension is not matching with the weight and you're not hitting your muscle group right and you're not feeling that shit Take a second to think about it and take a break, man, and bounce right back to it. So here's my secret to another uh, tip for a bigger back. Um, body weight pull-ups and, and weighted pull-ups with a kettlebell um, in pounds, that's about 60 pounds. So with um, kettlebells and or with the plate, um, weighted pull-ups, we're also gonna do some body weight um, rows. Um, you can do it close, wide, you can do supinated wide, supinated close. Each specific hand group movement that you're doing is hitting certain areas of your back. So like, um, close grip is hitting the middle part of your back, the middle part of your traps to bring in that detail and that thickness. Um, wide is hitting more of the rhomboids, uh, more of the um, upper traps and the rhomboids, right? So you, you have to keep in mind in these things when you're training your back because we're, we're sculpting, can you put the camera right there? We're sculpting our physique. Right, that, that is the main thing that we're doing. We're sculpting our physique. We're not worrying about 
moving the fucking way from point A to point B. I don't know if you guys are power lifters. If you guys are power lifters, more power to you. But you're not gonna get no aesthetic physique being a power lifter. Right, those guys in prison, they're not power lifters. Those guys are doing a lot of fucking reps and they're lifting a lot of fucking heavy ass weight. If you can lift heavy weight and do more reps, that's good. It's all about sculpting the physique that makes it beautiful. Does that make sense? So we're gonna do body weight rows. And then we're gonna superset it with weighted bent over rows. Not gonna do no barbell bent over rows, but we're gonna do some weighted bent over rows with the kettlebells. Make sense, guys? All right, and right here, we doing some body weight rows for that upper back and them lower lats. I love doing these. I like doing these as far as like for my finisher, um, you know, different, um, like I'm doing supinated, supinated now, different hand grips like I was telling you guys before, hits different parts of the back. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta know what parts of the back that you wanna hit that, that feel right. You know what I'm saying? And right here, I'm doing some kettlebell rows. Um, it's hitting them, them lats, hitting that upper back, and it's hitting them lower lats as well. You know what I'm saying? But gotta know how to hit that back, man. You know what I'm saying, y'all? If, if you really want a good ass fucking back, you gotta hit all angles of your back, man. You can't just do three fucking exercises for your back or a 45 minute fucking back workout, like expecting to have a good ass back. This is a, That's just not gonna happen at all. You know what I'm saying? That's not gonna happen at all. You know, but right here, I did a superset, man. I did four supersets of these. So I did them bodyweight rows and I did these kettlebell rows. You know, and I uh, I went hard, man. You know, like I said, y'all, I trained very intense. Very fucking intense. Another quick back tip um, that you can do when you're doing pull ups, you can use this as an attachment. And what you do is hit the lats. A lot of people think if you go wide, it's hitting more lats. But in reality, if you're coming down on a straight line, it's hitting your lats. Coming down on a straight line, it's hitting your lats. Right? Straight line, lats. Doing pull ups like this, straight line. All lats. Wider, this lats as well. But straight down, more lats. So I hope I made sense of what I said. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like to do pull-ups like this as well. You know, it really, really hit the lats, but like, you know, you keep your arms in a straight line, it's gonna activate more lats. You know what I'm saying? And also, you can do pull-ups like this to activate your lats as well. But y'all give this workout a try, man. You know what I'm saying? I always superset shit as y'all see me again. I'm supersetting again. Hard as fuck, but you know, you gotta push through that shit. You gotta push through that shit, man. And keep in mind, man, I train high volume like I always say. Like, I do hella reps and hella sets. You know what I'm saying? Cert certain days, I don't even count my reps. Now, if you really wanna maximize your back games, weighted pull ups is what we're about to do. Weighted pull ups with this and weighted pull ups by itself with just the bar. Super set with kettlebell rows. Now, I'm a high believer in high volume training. Like I believe in high volume training to a fucking T. Um, hitting the body part, minimum 35 sets. You know what I'm saying? 30 sets minimum. High volume, high frequency. That's the only way you can go, especially if you're natural. Like you gotta lift some heavy ass weight and go fucking hard. That's just my mind. You're not, you're not gonna grow if you're not going hard. If you're doing three sets of 12, you're not gonna fucking grow. You need to do. Five sets of 12 or six sets of 12 in order to grow. Make sure you're eating. And by far the best back exercise is way to pull up. So let's do it. Hey man, listen. If you ain't doing fucking weighted pull-ups in your back routine, man, hey man, you missing out on a bigger back, bro. If you're not doing pull-ups in your back routine, hey man, you missing out on a back, dog. You missing out on a bigger back, G. Telling y'all, this is like the secret secret if you want a big ass back. This right here, it had your shit sore as fuck, but big as hell over the time. Over the course of weeks, months, and years, depending on how often you train your back and how often you doing pull-ups. Like, I'm doing this thing called Nucleus Overload. I'm doing pull-ups every day. So, I'll make a video about that later. 
um, later uh, this year to show you guys my progress of doing 100 to 200 pull-ups every day. So, we just finished back. And I wanna tell y'all, cause I know somebody gonna be like, um, do you like to use, like, why you like using machines a lot? Or why you don't use like uh, the cable pulley with the wire grip? I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Execution is key in performing a certain type of movement. Whether it's a squat, whether it's a, 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 a bent over row, whether it's a, a hammer curl or a preacher curl or a tricep extension or a tricep dip. Let me tell you something. The video I did yesterday, the video I did yesterday, um, when I was doing uh, the, the, uh, machine dips, I don't feel that in my tricep at all. I feel that all in my chest. Meaning and granted that I don't like doing that movement for my triceps. So I'm gonna tell y'all something. If you don't feel a certain movement, don't do it. Don't do it, man. If you don't feel a certain attachment, don't do it. I remember uh, I, I, I posted my uh, back training on my Instagram, King SPK Fitness said, on the mad grips y'all gonna see them uh next week when i train back i'm gonna show y'all what the mad grips are he said he couldn't feel that when he was training his back i can feel it so different strokes different folks just like when i was using the lat pull down machines i really feel my lats activating i feel the burn i feel the squeeze when i feel when i'm squeezing i feel the burn i feel the muscles working but sometimes when i do the pulley lat pull down with the kid with, with, the, with the wide grip shit you know the regulars I don't feel that shit. I feel like I'm just moving the fucking weight. Just like when I did the, the second lat pull down uh, machine, when I uh, lean back, lean front some, and it's like I'm pulling behind my back, like I'm getting set up for a back double bicep. I'm feeling every every rep. I'm feeling that shit, and I'm going heavier. Every rep I'm feeling. It. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to sh share that with you guys. Like, don't get too caught up in what people, you know, what people say. Oh, why you don't do this certain movement? I don't do certain movies because I don't feel them. Point blank period. I don't feel machine dips. I don't. God damn, you driving slow as a bitch. I don't feel machine dips, you know what I'm saying? I feel weighted dips, body weight weighted dips better. You know what I'm saying? Man, this nigga. Yeah, man, that's it, man. We're going to head to Walmart and uh, catch up with y'all later. Man, today has been a tough day, man. Um, no, you good. Hello. Sorry. No, you good. Um, you know, you had them days when you have shitty workouts, you got life going on, you got shit going on with your life, whether it's work related or whether, you know what I'm saying? Um, this shit going on in your life, man, you know, and this place right here, you know, these weights. It's really like a fucking sanctuary to me, you know. I had to come back to the gym and do some pull-ups and some rows. I didn't record it, but, you know, because... You know, I just get that feeling when I come here and I need to let some aggression out. And whenever I'm feeling some type of way, whenever I feel like I need to improve, I come here and I put in work, you know what I'm saying? And that's one thing about life, man. Like, it doesn't matter what you go through. It matters on how you get through it how do you go through it that's the most important thing you know what i'm saying complaining about it bitching about it moaning about it you just gotta like just push through it man and i'm gonna be honest man i think one of the hardest things in this world is being a man especially a red pill man you know what i'm saying you know you got shit going on in your life you can't show no emotion you can't show no weakness you know even if you're on your last dollar or you know you got fired from your job or you know what i'm saying uh you know, shit happens, you know, car problems, you know, you, you you can't seek out for help to the masses like that because they call that weak. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just want to share this message with you brothers who, you know, who watch my channel, who support me, man. Like, man, don't never stop pushing, man. Always keep motherfucking pushing. Always keep motherfucking pushing. I don't care what the fuck they say. I'm looking in y'all in your eye right fucking now. Fuck what they say. Fuck the critics. Fuck what they think. It's about you and your mission. What you want to do with your life. Get to this damn gym. If y'all ain't working out, man, y'all need to fucking work out. 
if y'all experiencing depression and anxiety, y'all need to take that shit out in the gym. Because staying at home and being in that moment of that sadness, that shit ain't doing shit, but making it worse. This red pill gym shit. Get your ass in a motherfucking gym, man. Lift some motherfucking weights. It smell. I love the smell of the iron, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the pump. I like the burn. I like all that shit. I really do. That's why I bust my ass in here every day, man. That's why I bust my ass every motherfucking day. So that's why I'm telling y'all, man. Get up and bust your ass. Fuck the women, man. Fuck complaining about them. Let's work on self-improvement. Let's achieve a better physique. Let's achieve, you know what I'm saying, better finances, better businesses. Achieve by being a better person overall. Let's just improve, man. Games all 2019, like C Boogie say, man. Games all 2019. All right, man. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll look back at your boy. And like I always say, if you don't know why, it's because you blue pill. And if you red pill, you already know why.